Hi there, today to make the most of our math block, we're gonna look at some quick and easy prep activities. I love print and play activities because they're just like they sound. You print them and you play them. You could print them right onto cardstock and put them out. I've laminated them to make them more durable or put them in a plastic sleeve. Um, you'll also need links, connecting cubes, and teddy bear counters to play these activities. So let me prep these and get them set up and we can learn how to play. Here are the bins that I keep the print and play activities in. I have these pencil boxes that match the color with the hands-on activities. And inside the tower activity, I keep the extra linking activity for early finishers. You could put that in any of the centers for your students that finish early. Math center number one is stack them up. The first board is stack them up numbers zero through five. So the student will pick the number, it's two, count that many, one, two, match, to the five frame. Pick the next card, build that many, one, two, three, find the matching five frame. And they'll continue until they've built all the cards. The other stack em up activity is numbers zero through 10. And it's the same idea. A student will pick the number card and they wanna build that many. One, two, three, four, match the tens frame. Pick the next one, two, one, two. And they'll continue until they've covered all the numbers on the board. Center number two is spin and stack. I keep these paper clips in this bin I got from Walmart. They're going to spin the spinner. Whichever numeral it lands on five, they wanna build that many. One, two, three, four, five. Find the matching five frame. And then they'll spin again. One, one find the matching five frame. The other version is numbers to 10. Same idea, except this time they're spinning the tens frames and they're stacking on the matching numeral. Use your paper clip, spin, count how many, one, two, three, one, two, three, and stack it on top. They'll continue playing until they've covered all the numerals. Two, one, two. Math center number three is spin and build. So use a paper clip for your spinner with the five frames, spin it, two, build that many, one, two. You'll spin again, build it until you've built the sets. The other version is spin and build numbers to 10, so you're spinning the tens frame. Use your paper clip, spin, count how many, five, six, seven, build that matching set, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You'll keep spinning and counting and practice that one-to-one -one counting. Math center number four is towers. The first one is towers to five. So they're identifying the numeral two, building that many, one, two, three, one, two, three. And they'll continue until they've built all the towers. The other version is towers to 10, same idea. Identify the numeral and build the matching tower on top. One, two, three, four, five, six. And they'll continue until they've built all the towers. I keep an extra early finisher in this, it is the linking. They count how many on the tens frame and they link that many below. You can put this in any of the activities. I've just found that they finish the tower activity quickly and I want another engaging activity to go with it. I hope these low prep activities help save you time and keep your students engaged in mathematics. I will link the activities and materials I use below in the description, so check there for any links you might need. If this video was helpful to you, make sure you like it and stay tuned for more videos of making the most of our math block.